I have been avoiding this video for a while now and that is because this is one of the hardest things to do when it comes to like makeup declutters and that is decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. Out of everything that I own, I think one of the hardest things for me is eyeshadow palettes because they're like my favorite, you know? Every color story, although nothing is 100% unique really, it's just a thing. That's, I'm an eyeshadow palette girl. I'm an eyeshadow girl and it hurts me to throw things up, especially eyeshadow palettes. But I'll admit when things are getting out of hand and they're getting out of hand again. I was able to declutter and make this look pretty. That was, um, what, like six, eight months ago and we're here again. And I know for a fact that I've saved palettes that maybe I should have gotten rid of. So we're gonna work on that today and you guys are gonna help me because I know y'all need to do this too. I'm already feeling the pressure so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive on in. Wait, 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 watch me stall. I'm going to uh, pull my hair up because I'm gonna start sweating. Not because it's hot in here because the AC is on, but the pressure just makes me sweat. So palette number one, I know I'm gonna keep her. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm keeping her. And for those of you thinking, okay, there she goes. She can't even get rid of the first palette. There's a reason why I'm gonna keep her, okay? The Conspiracy Palette. It is a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette in collaboration with Shane Dawson. I love Shane Dawson, by the way. His thought process for things and editing skills is just phenomenal. That man is an artist. The reason why I'm not gonna get rid of this palette is because it was a gift to me by a friend I made over BoxyCharm. Isabel, who used to do boxy spoilers back in the day. She's disappeared off of social media like that. Like she's not really doing boxy stuff, ipsy stuff, nothing at all. But this was a gift that she made for me. I was struggling to get it and I was in queue and it wasn't happening. And she was just like, boom, got it. It's gonna get shipped to you. I just thought it was amazing because this was expensive and she didn't have to buy it for me. I've used it several times. I use it behind the scenes because I know a lot of people don't really like this palette or the creators, but it was a gift and I'm keeping her. I'm actually thinking maybe I shouldn't give too much detail. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet because we've got a lot of palettes. The Ciate London Spice Palette. She was a pretty palette, but nothing out of this world. She's gonna go. The CoverGirl Rain Palette. Once again, nice palette. Color story is a little kind of weird, very unusual, if you will. The formulas are okay, but they're not like amazing. This one's gonna go. The Beauty Crops Dawn Gazing Palette. The glitter is beautiful, but a lot of these shades are kind of meh. When you really look at it, it's gonna go. Ofra X Samantha Marches collab called Life's a Draft. This stays, girl. This stays, stays. She's beautiful. The formula is you're getting highlights, you get bronzer, she stays. What am I gonna do with this one? Okay, so this is by Rude Cosmetics. It is the Roaring 20s Neons. You guys, she's gonna stay. Out of the palettes that are staying, if there are any that you want to see in a tutorial, just play with it as in girl do neons or something. You need to let me know in the comment section. So as we're going, let me know. Okay, Rude Cosmetics neons, I look. That way I know what I'm doing. Then we're gonna do the Play X Cobra Kai palette. We are all familiar with this palette. The palette was nice. It's, it's, it's not this overwhelmingly amazing palette. I will tell you, I mean, it was nice. It was nice. I like that you're able to like remove this and kind of work with it, but I'm gonna let her go. I'm doing this all without really thinking because if I think about it, everything stays. <laughs> the Estate Fall Edit Palette. I think this one's gonna go. The Rude Cosmetics United Shimmer Room. Oh my goodness, you know what? I've had her for like ever, so she is gonna go because I mean, I've had her for like three or four years and I haven't gone back into her, so I'm gonna get rid of her. Amore Us Bubble Pop Palette. That's a nice selection of colors, but if we're gonna be real, I don't see myself pulling her out again. I think I've used her once in like two years, maybe more. The Wonder Beauty Sweet Escapes Palette. She is so darn pretty and she is relatively new, so she stays. The BoxyCharm Hello Charmer Palette. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I am never gonna get rid of this. Why? Cause it's not easy to come by. You could probably find it every once in a while on like sale. Now it's gonna be at ipsy.com, but you used to be able to find it at BoxyCharm for like $15. I received this when it originally launched. This has a whole other meaning now, you know? Now that BoxyCharm no longer is BoxyCharm like this, you know? Totally different, so we're keeping her. This palette over here, it is the Met About You palette by Lash Step. She is not old, that color store all mattes, stunning, she stays. The Amuse Forest palette, meh, she's gonna go. 
the Tres Luce I Am The Palette. She's gonna stay. And if you guys take a good look at the shades, they're all pretty much new. I think I've only dipped into like two or three shades. So I owe you guys more tutorials with that. Then, Profusion. I remember getting this palette and being obsessed. It is the Chocolates palette. Profusion is such an affordable brand. And this palette is actually really, really, really nice. But these are all tones that I'm gonna find in other palettes, so I'm gonna get rid of her. And I've had this for like five years. Do you guys remember this palette by Floresis? Maybe you'll remember it now. I'm gonna keep her, but the center shade here is completely ruined. It's broken, it's shattered. I tried to put it back together. I haven't pressed it, but <laughs> I had a moment, but she stays. <laughs> I'm going through all of these, like I don't wanna get rid of any of them. The Milan Row Iconic Couture Palette. She has been through it, all right? I've used her a lot. I've dropped her a few times. She's gonna go. Kenya Ontiveros Beauty. This is the Glow and Go kit. You guys, this stays. I liked her from day one and I've actually popped her in my bag for travel purposes. She stays. I have the Sigma Enchanted palette and I feel horrible because I've only used like three shades out of the entire palette. Guys, we need to do, she stays. We need to do better. Maybe we would do a series like once a week, no matter what, maybe every Saturday or something like that, we'll come up with like new looks using a different palette because, oh my God, I didn't even realize. Here's another one. I am, ho I love eyeshadow palettes, but I'm horrible at it. I like at actually using them. The Rose Period Palette by Suva Beauty. And if you know Suva, you know their formulas. One, two, three. I've used four shades out of this entire palette. And she is beautiful. Why? I have too many palettes, so I just just keep rolling. Like every time I use one, I get a new one, so I just put it away. Then the Rustic Glam by Dominique Cosmetics. She is staying and there is zero questions about it. I would fight someone for this palette. Like if someone comes to my house and tries to take my palette, I don't know who, but I'm just saying we'd fight. Another Dominique Cosmetics, it is the Latte palette. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm already sweating. I'm telling you, I'm already sweating. Cause I have this guilt. I'm gonna show you guys. The palette is 100% new. I haven't used her. Not even, like, it doesn't look like it even has a swatch in it. What have I been doing? I don't know. Life's a drag. This is by Lunar Beauty. I've literally dipped into, oh, four. <laughs> I got lucky with this one. I've dipped into four shades out of this palette. She stays. I remember seeing this palette and wanting it so freaking bad. It is Lorac Pro, the chocolate box. I received it, used it maybe once or twice, and then moved on with my life. I'm gonna get rid of her, only because I've had her well over two years. And if I haven't revisited her and she doesn't <gasps> me anymore, I might as well just kind of set her to the side and kind of like get rid of her. The Bella Pier Ultimate Nude Eyeshadow 35 Cup. Oh, it's crumbly. Oh, okay, so you're giving me a really good reason not to feel bad. Because at first I was gonna be like, she, it's time for her to go. I've had this probably a total of six years, like when I started my YouTube channel. It's been a good minute. And I felt bad getting rid of her because it was one of the first palettes I got in PR. I did really, really like her, but oh me, ha, huh? she's like crumbled and falling apart. So I feel less bad about her. We have the Aether Beauty palette. I'm gonna get rid of her because she is shattered. And for this palette in particular, I found that some of the formulas are kind of inconsistent for me. So I'm gonna set her to the side basura. <laughs> I have a P. Louise palette. She is so new, she's still got the plastic. She stays. I'm so embarrassed. I got another P. Louise palette. This is the Lady in Charge palette. This is the one that I've actually dipped into. And she's really pretty. She stays because these are all like relatively new. Then I have the Moira Celestial Love palette. And this palette was actually really nice. Still relatively new. So I'm gonna keep her for now. Maybe in the next declutter, I will get rid of her. For now, she stays. I also have a ColourPop palette. This is the Witch Hour palette. Their Hocus Pocus. I think this is like their part two, their second launch. It's really nice i am digging the greens she stays the alter ego harmony palette i'm gonna keep her because alter ego is one of my favorite affordable brands when it comes to eyeshadow formulas they have great dupes for really high end palettes and they're like a good 16 18 dollars like if you've never tried alter ego you need to i have a whole bunch of them i'm only missing one out of all of them and that's because it's sold out and they haven't been able to bring it back and it all happened during the pandemic but i'm gonna show you all the other ones they're amazing the Pure Nabella Embrace Your Face. This palette was really nice. I really love Nabella. Her aesthetic, her organic positivity, and 
And so I was really excited to receive this. It hasn't even been all that long. So I'm gonna get rid of her. However, the ones that are like relatively new, but I'm gonna get rid of, I will make sure that I put them over to the side for a selection for family members, cause I know they're gonna want them. This is a Rasha B Cosmetics palette, but this is a duochrome palette. And you guys know me and duochromes. I got this maybe like four months ago. She stays. Charlotte Tilbury, Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. We're keeping her. And then we have Charlotte's Instant Eye Palette. Stunning, I freaking love this palette cause you can go neutral or you can go kind of like a pinky nude. It's just beautiful. I love her. I would never get rid of those. Then I have a Makeup Revolution palette, a loogie like this, and we're gonna get rid of her because I got her some time ago and I completely forgot I owned her. All right, I had to do a ponytail because when I told you, it stresses me out and I start sweating, your girl started sweating. Next, I have a Gourmand Girls Cell Salamore. This palette is stunning. Listen, the pigmentation was there, she blended, she stays. And she's relatively new too. And it's not like this high-end brand or anything like that. It's a very, very indie brand. But at the end of the day, I really like the color story. Then we have the Kat Von D shade Light Eye Palette. This is one of those OGs from when I started my YouTube channel and I had to penny pinch every bit that I could to put a few dollars together in order to snag an expensive palette. So this one stays. Ay, Dios mio. Now we're gonna look at the smaller palettes. I have them kind of like set up like this and then I have another one here in front of me because it's several of the tiny ones. So the first palette I wanna show you is this one. Is, oh, I was gonna say it's upside down. It is the Creme Shop, the So Shady All Day Every Day. There's another one that's more on the taupey side, more on the nudie nudie. It's a little deeper. That one's in Miami. This one stays because I bought her myself and she's like stunning. Then we have the Jason Wu palette that was featured. I'm gonna say this was the AIA Beauty Bundle. I'm gonna get rid of this. Why? Because it's tiny. Anything that I get rid of out of these tiny palettes is because it's tiny and I don't see myself revisiting it anytime soon. So it's just gonna further expire. The e.l.f. Mint Melt, I think I wanna keep her because this here is so pretty and oftentimes people wouldn't put this mint shade with the brown and I totally would. So I've been meaning to play around with this palette. So I'm gonna set this over to the side. We have the Neon Gaze by ColourPop. I'm gonna get rid of her. And then I also have the Color Vision by ColourPop. That's gonna go. This is the Nabla Miami Nights. These are all pressed shimmers. They stay. Why? Because it's pressed to glitter and it's stunning on the eyeball and you never know when you need to press glitter. So I'm keeping her. Bare Minerals Gen Nude Latte Palette. Beautiful browns. Super pigmented and blendable, they stay. And then I have the Ico Limitless 2, if I can open her. And this one's gonna stay. I know it looks very similar to the Latte by Bare Minerals, but it's not. These are actually more neutral versus the other ones are just deeper. The ColourPop on the Mango, this is gonna go. Oh my God. The Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow Palette in Cool Neutrals. This is gonna stay because there's nothing like this shade and this shade all over the lid and the crease and a little pop of this on the inner corner only just to kind of like a little bit on the inner corner. We're gonna keep that. I have the Ocalon Lavender Palette. I think it was meant to be like a Huda Beauty dupe. She's not, girl, cause it's like the formulas are nowhere near Huda Beauty, but this is gonna go. And then I have the Ocalon Sweet Palette. If I can open this one too. Oh my God, this one has to stay. She still has the plastic. This one stays. I owe you a look with that. So I'm gonna hold her and I'll let you know what I think just in general about the color story and the formula then. The Aether Beauty Topaz Mini Crystal Palette. She's gonna go. Oh God, and then I have another Aether Beauty. This is the Citrine Crystal Quad. I really like my Aether Beauty palettes, but honestly, I don't really dip into these tiny ones. So that one's gonna go too. Then I have a ColourPop Quad, another one. This is the Acai You Baby. This one's gonna go. I have the Ciate London, the Velvet, oh my God, the Velvet palette. Do you guys remember this palette? I actually liked her. I don't think I like, from what I recall, I didn't love every single shade, but it was a nice palette. The question is, do you stay or do you go? I'll put it like in the maybe pile and play around with it this weekend and decide whether or not I'm gonna keep her. The Ciate London Cranberry Palette, she's gonna go. And do you remember when Huda Beauty was just like it when it came to Ipsy and Bobby Jones? So the first one is the Ruby Obsessions. She stays. The Smoky Palette. She stays. By the way, fun fact, I ran to Sephora when this launched, picked up the Smoky Palette. I wanted to do an unboxing. The video is still up on my channel. It was like when I first, first, first started the channel and the quality was crap. So I'll tell you that much. But what's funny is I was like, oh, let me, uh, 
when I went like this, the whole pan of the black eyeshadow set bleh, landed on the floor. I was so upset. I had to go back to freaking Sephora and show them, exchange it. It was a whole freaking thing. So that stays. The Gemstone Obsessions palette. That's the color story. She stays. The Electric Obsessions. So stinking pretty. I know they're tiny. Do I gravitate them a lot? No, but if I'm going somewhere and I know I'm like, mm, I want color, like this just works. The Mauve Obsessions. This one's not super unique. Like this one doesn't <gasps> me, but the formulas are really good. And then we have the Topaz. This is perfect for freaking fall. It's just stunning. The Mint Pastels. Did I use you? Yes, I have used only two shades out of this one. Isn't she pretty? And then the purple haze, which I wanted for the longest, but I was like, I am not gonna order it. I'm glad I didn't because I ended up getting it in a beauty box. Guys, we're almost done with the first shelf. All of this came out of the first shelf. Is that not crazy? It almost seems like beauty boxes go through phases. So that was the Huda Beauty phase, right? Do you remember Dose of Colors? Like the Dose of Colors phase? Everyone wanted everything Dose of Colors. There were a few other palettes featured. I didn't end up getting them. Check this out. So they had um, the Baked Browns. She stays because she's just beautiful. And then the Snow Angels palette. I remember receiving a shade that was broken and they completely like, they saw the video and were like, we're going to send you another one, which was really nice. We've got some rare beauty. These are like new, so we're keeping these. This is the true to myself palette and the come to play palette. I look at them because I just want to make sure that I've actually like used them, you know? And you know how I was talking about like beauty boxes and having phases? The Natasha Denona phase. I have too many of them, so I'll just show you really quickly. This is the Cranberry palette. This was one of those palettes that everybody wanted, so this stays. This is the Jubilee palette, and it got to a point where people were like, I don't understand the color story, so it kind of is what it is, but I liked it, so I'm keeping her. The Quarrel palette, this was a very spring and wearable palette, she stays. The Peak palette, I feel like the Peak palette was one of the very first palettes that were launched in a beauty box, she stays. This is the most wearable to me, like this is the Ayana palette, and I feel like no matter what, this is a palette that everyone can have in their collection. Versatile, you can definitely go light with it, you can smoke it out, you can go matte, you can go shimmer, it's just beautiful, she stays. The Cupid palette, oh my God. Should I get rid of Cupid? I'll think about it, that's in the maybe pile. And then I have these two little ones, which I feel like I actually paid for these, so I'm gonna get rid of one, and then I'm gonna keep one. I'm gonna keep the mini star palette, very wearable, super pretty, you can just go full on gold all over the eye, and then I'm gonna to get rid of the nude palette this is the mini nude i have like the big one and there's two shades that are broken because Kent doesn't know how to keep her hands to herself and for shelf one last but not least we have the blink eyeshadow palette please tell me you remember this it was huge it was a big deal this was huge when it launched in boxycharm because it was in collab with boxycharm these were one of the formulas that was just cream to powder in your face People loved it, obsessed with it, and I said I would never get rid of it. You guys, it's time, I'm gonna get rid of it. Only because it is old as hell, <laughs> and I'm afraid that I'm gonna get like an eye infection or something, so only because it is that old we're getting rid of her. I think I'm gonna stop at shelf one for today. Otherwise, this video will be like two hours long. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna organize that first shelf, see how she looks, and then I'll consider filming the second shelf with you guys if you're interested. So make sure you let me know in the comment section if you're interested in seeing how many, okay, I have two more shelves. Let me know in the comment section if you wanna see shelf two and shelf three. <laughs> and it's so many palettes, it's ridiculous. And make sure you've told me which palettes you're interested in seeing eye looks with. That way you're just giving me video ideas and then I can always revisit and go, okay, I'm gonna grab this palette because people really wanna see it. Like, help your girl out. And I really hope this video has helped you gain the strength to do some decluttering. It is hard, I'm so wedding. It is not an easy thing, especially when you have like an emotional attachment to makeup. It's like your bestie, you know? But in the end, it does feel good. This is like some me time, so I highly recommend you take a moment, just really take it in and start a little declutter. Just start little and then work your way up. Are you guys? Thank you so much for helping me declutter shelf number one. I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button and the notification bell. And guys, you do not need to leave. I have so much content up on the channel already. I know you're gonna really enjoy. And speaking of content you're gonna enjoy, I'm gonna suggest two videos here on screen. I really hope you enjoy as well. So please consider checking those out and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.